Here's a great idea for an exterior stairway that requires a handrail, something that is a would be a grippable handrail to help people walk up and down the stairs with. Um, now this particular stairway could fall into a building code dilemma. Uh, stairways that I believe are wider than 88 inches require a center handrail and here we have a stairway with one handrail up the center. Normally we see a handrail on the side or one handrail on each side of a stairway but this right here I think is a fantastic idea for anyone who's planning on designing a building and wants to save a couple of dollars you're going to be able to um, solve both problems here by put, putting uh, a handrail in the center you're going to meet the building code requirements if the stairway is wider than 88 inches um, if not having the handrail in the center. Um, most building codes require at least one handrail, something to walk up and down. Well, what, what, uh, uh, I can't think of a better spot to put it in than in the center of something like this, unless of course you're moving a large piano into the room. Let's not forget that uh, that could be a problem also. So if you have only one entrance um, and you have a stairway that is less than 88 inches wide, then you might consider putting the handrail on one of the sides. But if you have another entrance or another way to get large um, furniture or equipment into the, into the building, then again, we're back to uh, this being a great idea. And I really, really do, uh, really does make a lot of sense. With that said, now I need to point something else out. Most building codes require guardrails, not handrails, guardrails to prevent people from falling off of a stairway and uh, falling off of the side of a stairway and getting injured. If the stairway itself, any part of the stairway, is more than 30 inches from the ground, then it might you might need a guardrail and this actually looks like it could be 30 inches or more than 30 inches off of the ground so again you would need to check with your local building department um, before uh, figuring out whether or not that would be uh, something required by them so remember 30 inches could be a problem now if you're building something like this on the outside you could always mound up dirt you know if the if if the building um, was designed for that um, i've seen that plenty of times people just grab some dirt and some soil and make the 30 inches themselves you know they just add to the bottom of the area um, next to the stairway so that they don't need to put a guardrail up. Remember, a guardrail is different than a handrail. So if the building department requires a guardrail, that will require certain um, minimum measurements. And uh, if it requires a handrail, then that will also require uh, specific measurements, I guess would be better than minimum measurements uh, or minimum requirements. So make sure that you don't uh, mess those up if your building department requires one or both, and in some cases they will require both, that you uh, understand exactly what you're doing.